When talking about the manuscript evidence that compiles what is textual criticism, there are two main sources that Christians consider. The critical text line, with its origins in Alexandria, Egypt, that make the basis for the Catholic and New Bible versions, and the traditional text line, with its roots going back to Antioch, Syria, that are behind the Greek Orthodox Bibles and many other groups throughout Christian history that became the basis for the King James Bible. The critical text is primarily based on two codexes, Vaticanus and Sinaiticus, and papyri remnants that are archaeologically discovered in Egypt, that have the distinct characteristic of being shortened. The traditional text is primarily formed from the majority manuscripts, nearly 6,000, that are available to us that were carried through time by those diligently copying the words of God, preserving the original words through Greek renditions and translations in multiple languages. As this channel supports the traditional text line, one of the criticisms of those who support the Alexandrian line is the idea that those copying the manuscripts wouldn't have been able to copy precisely, word for word, what they were rendering, and that over time the manuscripts would see the corruption that would have been unreconcilable and or unrecognizable from the original writings. Now let's consider before the mass production of printing multiple copies at once, as seen with Gutenberg's press in the 15th century, and those who were painstakingly copying word for word the manuscripts they were given before that time. Although the odds of making a mistake while hand copying any document is more like 1 in 20, if we took the argument that in each manuscript had 1 in 10 words wrong, and compared them with 5 copies with their own personal mistakes, the likelihood of having that same mistake repeated in all five copies is 1 in 100,000. The mistake would have to have been found in three copies in order to be significant, but even that is a 1 in 1,000th chance, which is not even with a more accurate 1 in 20 ratio, although that still is quite a liberal estimate. Now imagine that there were manuscripts copied from those manuscripts and they had their own errors, yet they were then compared again. You would have to suspend your disbelief in order to conceive that there was no way to find the original message through comparing them all together. The question is, can you trust the majority manuscripts? This channel does. And although there are many dated manuscripts in the traditional line to rival the claims of the critical text, you would have to assume, if they were not reliable, that God had inspired his word through the original autographs and then lost it due to incompetence. So yes, later manuscripts are more than reliable, and sees the fruits of its labor also preserved in the King James Bible. 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 13 For this cause also thank we God without ceasing, because, when ye received the word of God which ye heard of us, ye received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of God, which effectually worketh also in you that believe.